Hello, this ExamSoft quick tip is about pushing grades to Canvas from ExamSoft. Everything I'm going to talk about today is going to happen in the assessments part of the ExamSoft portal. And I'm going to immediately switch over to ExamSoft um, and show you the first steps to pushing your grades to, uh, to the Canvas gradebook. So in ExamSoft, you would click on assessments. And you would find in your directory list whichever assessment you want to push the grades to. So in this example, I have an assessment called Fall 2018 NU 315 Exam 1. And I want to push the final grades for this course to Canvas. So we're going to come back to this example in a few moments. But first, before we do that, I just want to walk you through this whole process. Now again, this is for final grades for a particular test that you want to push to uh, your Canvas gradebook that's already set up. So the course is already set up in Canvas and it's running in ExamSoft at the same time. So the thing before you can push your final grades from uh, ExamSoft to Canvas, students obviously have to have completed the test and uploaded their test files. And then you want to make sure that you've done any score adjustments that are needed. So if you have fill-in-the-blank uh, fill type questions on your exam, you want to look at all those responses, make sure that you've accepted any that uh, need to be accepted, and also review your summary report and item analysis to help identify any questions that maybe were keyed incorrectly that need to be updated. Um, perhaps they were confusing in some way and you want to actually throw that question out of the exam. You want to make sure you do all that kind of exam review before you push the grades because these are really going to be the final grades for this assessment that you're pushing. The next thing you have to do is verify that the class numbers are the same in ExamSoft and in Canvas. So the easiest way to see it in ExamSoft, if I switch back over to ExamSoft here, is to look right here at the course number that the assessment was posted to. So I can see in this case that it was posted to a class 2018 FA NU 315-001. Well I would want to make sure that it has the same number in Canvas. In Canvas you can get your classes set up so that there are multiple sections in one Canvas shell. So the example that I'm providing here is in ExamSoft maybe you have a class that it looks like this 2019 SPNU 111 section 001. But in Canvas you have it set up so section 001 and 002 are in the same Canvas shell you're not going to be able to push your grades from this ExamSoft class to this Canvas class because the systems aren't going to be able to understand that that's the same class. Um, so you, you would have to have either uh, the class set up as a two-section class in ExamSoft, in that case it, you could push it to Canvas to the two-section class, or uh, in Canvas you'd have to have separate Canvas shells for your section 001 and 002 for this process to work. So once you have done all of those first three things, then the procedure is pretty straightforward. First of all, you start out in Canvas, go to your class, and go to your grades section. And once you're there, what I recommend you do is you mute the assignment that you're pushing grades for. This makes it so that the students don't see these grades. They don't automatically show up on the student view. And you want to do that just until you're comfortable that everything looks okay. Um, and when, when the, the transfer has happened and you're happy with everything, then you can unmute it. So if you're not sure how to mute a, um, a assessment in Canvas, I'm in the grade section here. I've kind of cut it off on the left-hand side so we don't see student names. But what you do is, this is your grade book, so you just go to any one of the assessments in your grade book and click on the little down arrow and then click the mute assignment button. It will give you a, a message about what this means. Click mute assignment. Wait for a moment. And basically that's going to take that out of the grade book. And you have this little icon now that the that assessment has been muted. Okay, so you do that first. Then you go to ExamSoft and push the grades, and I'll go over how you do that in one second. 
And once you've verified that everything is okay, you're going to go back into the Canvas gradebook and unmute it so that the students can then see the final grades. So let's do this for this particular uh, test in that's in ExamSoft. So we are in the assessment tab, like I mentioned, and what we need to do first is we have to make sure the column, the correct column is showing up in this, this view of our assessments that allows us to do the push. It's not showing up for me right now. So since I don't see the column I need, I'm going to go to this little cog icon, click on it, and then click this uh, down arrow. And what I'm looking for is the column called push grades to LMS. So I'm going to select that and now it's going to show up in my list of um, my list of columns. So for the first exam in this list, exam one, all I do is come over and hit the push grades button. When I do this, the connection between ExamSoft and Canvas is made and so ExamSoft can now see my Canvas gradebook for this class. And if I click on this select grade column, I see all the columns, all the assignments already set up in my gradebook. So if I wanted to push this to the the assignment exam one, I would just click on that. If you haven't already set up your gradebook to include this assessment, you can make a new column right here. So if I wanted to call it exam 1A, for example, I would just put it right there um, and I would make sure this is blank. Okay, so that's the first thing you have to do is make sure you're putting it to the right column of your gradebook. The second thing, and this is quite important, is to make sure you're transferring the grades the way your gradebook is set up. So you can choose to set up your gradebook in various different ways, for, by percentage or by points are the two most common ones. You just want to make sure that you're transferring your grades from ExamSoft in that same format. So if your gradebook is set up as percentages, you want to transfer your grades from ExamSoft as percentages. You can also do it as points. Uh, and you can do it as raw score. The raw score just means, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever initial points, whatever initial score the students got before you did any score adjustment. That's not very commonly used. Usually it would either be points or percentage. So once you're ready to do that, you just hit the send grade to LMS uh, and then ExamSoft will give you a confirmation message. I'm not going to do it for this particular example. Once that's done, <clears throat> excuse me, you want to make sure you go back to Canvas, check everything out, the new grades will show up. Once you're happy with everything, you can then unmute the column, the, the assessment column again. So you just go to the down arrow and click unmute assignment. And it will give you this message that the students are going to be able to see these grades now after you unmute it. And then you just wait for that to happen. So again, uh, the important information that you need to um, provide when you're doing this push is what column of the gradebook you're pushing your grades to and what the format of the grades are going to be, percentages or points. If for some reason you make a mistake um, and you transfer either to the wrong column or to in the wrong format, you can redo that. Now, if you've actually overwritten another column of the gradebook, that's unfortunately a permanent change. You can't undo that. Um, but if you have the right column and you've just transferred the wrong format, you can transfer. You can go through this process again, change the format, uh, and transfer it again, and it will just overwrite that column again. So, really make sure that you're selecting the correct grade column because that's something that is hard to undo if you selected the wrong one not possible to undo, but you can always change the, the format of the score. Okay, so that is all I wanted to talk about today. If you have any questions about pushing your grades to uh, Canvas, please contact anyone in the Office of Assessment and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you.